Oh Jong Se has done more than seven dozen dramas and films under his name, playing everything from melodrama to comedy. Most of his roles were supporting roles, but every time he took the lead, he held his own. There's no denying that he is a versatile, well-respected actor who knows his way around, delivering impactful roles for every project he's cast in. He's best known for his roles in It's OK to Not Be OK, Hot Stove League, and How to Use Guys with Secret Tips. Check out these 10 things you might not know about Oh Jong Se. He started out as a theater actor. Despite his successful career, Oh Jong Se did not originally study acting. He was a mass communications major at Son Moon University. His first acting roles were in the theater in 2002, before eventually transitioning to on screen projects. However, it took him years of playing supporting characters in TV shows and movies before he finally earned the recognition of critiques in the 2013 film How to Use Guys with Secret Tips. He won back to back Best Supporting Actor awards. In 2017, the actor won his first award for the disaster mystery drama Missing Nine at the MBC Drama Awards. Afterwards, his winning streak continued at the prestigious Bexong Arts Awards, where he bagged Best Supporting Actor two years in a row, with When the Camellia Blooms and It's OK to Not Be OK respectively. He also won Best Supporting Actor for his role in Hot Stove League at the Apan Star Awards. He took extra care in playing his character in It's OK to Not Be OK. Dubbed as a millionaire of characters for his acting range, he gained international recognition for his heart-wrenching performance in the 2020 hit drama It's OK to Not Be OK. Playing an adult man with autism, the actor made sure to study up on his role, which he always talked about with great care and sensitivity during media interviews. He said, when I had an interview during the early half of the project, I said he is a character suffering from autism. I learned that this was a wrong expression. Saying that you're suffering from something means you have an illness. However, autism isn't an illness, but something you're born with. I learned it's correct to say he's a character who was born with autism. Even though I studied intensely, I'm more careful and I think there's more that I need to know. I am carefully doing my best to prepare well. He didn't work for three years. The veteran actor opened up about his rough beginnings in a 2020 interview with Allure Korea. According to him, during his earlier days, he'd already be incredibly happy with just getting bit parts, and he's since continued with this humble mindset, even with his now blossoming career. He said, honestly, I was really happy even when I only had bit parts. And when I didn't have a project for three years, even though I was struggling to survive, I also had a lot of fun during that time. He visits indie band performances for inspiration in acting. Watching a live performance can be a great way to pick yourself up if you are feeling down. The energy and excitement of the crowd will rub off on you, and you'll find yourself enjoying the show more than you thought you would. It's different with Oh Jong Se who often watches indie band performances to get inspiration in acting. He told GQ Korea, I don't know much about music, but when I hear a good song, I look up when and where the musician is performing. In a way, I get more inspiration from music when acting. When I see people singing on stage, I often think that I want to become an actor with that feeling. When I met a performance that was clumsy but conveyed the person's emotions intact, I thought that an actor can also be a good actor only with sincerity, not any technical parts. He suffers from facial blindness. The actor has difficulty recognizing faces as he suffers from a cognitive disorder called prosopagnosia or face blindness, which prevents one from recognizing familiar faces. He even admitted in a past interview that, due to this, he once couldn't identify his own son. If I had met you on the street, I wouldn't have recognized you. It's not because I don't remember, but I can't perceive different faces. So there's been a lot of incidents where I feel sorry towards those around me. On another occasion, he also said that people with prosopagnosia may need to repeatedly see others' face multiple times to recognize them. He still takes the subway. When you imagine what it would be like to live the lifestyle of a celebrity, you probably think of glamorous parties, designer clothes, and super expensive and super fast supercars. You certainly don't think of an uncomfortable commute on the bus, train, or underground rail system. Occasionally Oh Jong Se still uses the subway as his daily transportation. When asked if he felt the audience's reaction because of the drama when the camellia blooms he starred in 2019, he shared, I once went to a schedule by taking the subway. It was work time, 7 o'clock. There were so many people. But someone next to me was watching when the camellia blooms. 
The feeling was very strange. Looking at his expressions, he had smiles and tears on his face. He didn't recognize me even when he saw the scene where I was appearing and made eye contact with me. He suffers from back pain due to an accident in middle school. Even though more than 30 years have passed, he is still undergoing treatment for his back pain due to an accident while he was still in middle school. He was hit by a car that crossed a center line and flew away. I went to the hospital and took an x-ray, but they said there was no major problem. It didn't even hurt that much. But after two to three years, my back started to hurt. It is not clear whether it is because of the after effects or other factors, but I have been receiving treatment steadily since then. He married his first love. Oh Jong Se just so happens to be one of the lucky few who met his true love and future wife at an early age. His wife who he met in junior school was his first love. He dated his elementary school classmate for an incredible 19 years before the two finally tied the knot in 2006. The school teacher told me to become partners with someone we liked, so we became partners. I also proposed to her then, he cheekily shared during an episode of Happy Together. He wants to continue acting for a long time. As a Korean star in high demand, there is no slowing down for Oh Jong Se. Although he is already a prolific actor, his goal in life is to continue acting for a long time. The actor said that he would believe in the moment-to-moment -moment effort and run hard today, shining his eyes. Since I'm an actor, I really want to act for a long time. At some point, people think of me as a very prolific actor, but last year, I only did two projects. I don't think I did that much. Although I've been running non-stop lately. I am always doing my best to meet works that I can continue to do.